Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, thank you for joining me for another test. I will continue to do some tests on the Nitrium uh, liquid charcoal. Last time I was experimenting the charcoal with a uh, style similar to uh, oil painting. I was using the oil painting approach to um, work on the charcoal to see how it kind of effectively appears on these uh, on the surface and the result was not as uh, strong as what I usually do with my um, charcoal uh, because the focus was not on the, the result actually uh, the focus was on more of a experiment see to see what the liquid charcoal can offer and how much I can push the idea. So today, I will uh, try it again with a different approach, uh, was similar to watercolor approach. Uh, last time it was from dark to light, and this time I will reverse the concept from light to dark, just like watercolor. So see, how we can actually use the medium and get the most out, out of the, um, the medium, see what we can do and how we can um, benefit from this. So let's get started. Okay, I have done a sketch of this subject. Now I'm gonna go in and see what I can do with uh, with the medium. And today I'm gonna use a bigger, slightly bigger brush to map in slowly with some uh, some lighter tone at the beginning. As I said, I am trying to approach it like working on watercolors. So let's see how it will turn out. I 
that they try to uh, be cautious about how to control my uh, charcoal, the charcoal stick, the sketch. And not to be smeared. Since I know the light can be recovered really quickly, I have no hesitation to paint over mm, to paint or draw or drawing over <laughs> the new word drawing. Um, it will appear. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put in some light gray. This is also the first time I'm trying to do this like the white color way. So let's see how it turn out. Let's explore this together. I have faith on this uh, on this product. So let's all witness how you can actually uh, become more of a beneficial for everybody okay i'm painting on canvas board again and i really want to see how this can actually play out Perhaps later on, I can also try to work on uh, watercolor paper. See the difference. I'm not worried to have those lines kind of disappear. I'm not worried at all. Because uh, I can easily rediscover them quickly. Because I have spend the time to do it once, that means I can do it again. Many people are afraid to kind of uh, lose the image and because uh, they have spent so much time on it and thinking that they have to grasp the, uh, the subject, I mean the sketch as much as they can without spending more time to go back and I'll redo it again, but for me, it's okay. If I can, if I've done it once, that means I'm no problem to do it again. And this way, I'm not limiting myself, kind of restricting myself not to go forward too. Today's weather is kind of hot, so. I think the charcoal can be quickly dried up. And let's see. At this point, what I'm doing is just uh, napping the mitong. Give it a, a wash. Let's see how it will come out. Last time the outcome was not, as I said, it was not uh, with the same quality usually I would do my artwork. Once again, because my concentration was not on the quality. Instead, I was aiming for to see what kind of uh, result you can get, how much I can push the medium. That was the main focus. Maybe some people find the subject is a little bit uh, harder to deal with, I mean the material, but to me it was an experiment. Uh, I have gained some idea and uh, some knowledge about what this medium can offer. So. To me, is a good thing. It's always learning, right?
Okay, so at this point, I have mapping in the mid-tone. And the next thing I'm going to do, which is creating a darker, deeper uh, dark tones. Yeah, the charcoal seems to dry much faster than uh, last time because the, the weather is uh, much hotter today. Now, one thing this is different from watercolor is the canvas will not absorb the pigment. Not like the watercolor paper will lock the pigment into uh, the surface of paper, inside the uh, paper. The canvas pretty much allows the pigment to flow on top, kind of floating on top until it is totally dry or any time that I'm not touching it again. So. I'm going to just quickly Establish. As I said, I'm not afraid to cover some of the area. It's pretty nice laying out so far. And let's see how the result will come out later on. Use the soft edge just like the watercolor. So Pretty much work on the uh, silver shape of the head, the helmet. Then now, uh, work to see a face, 
face features. Slowly, bit by bit, it's a little bit dark, so I'm going to add a little bit of water, so it can, it can dissolve quickly. I like that. Brush and water, just like watercolor, I mean, just like eraser, not watercolor, but just like eraser. By adding a little more water. Kind of took away the tone a little bit. I'm going to build up a little more mid tone. I'm frequently clean, uh, kind of cleaning the brush. The same way that Usually, I have to clean my hand, my finger, when I'm working on the drawing. It's similar, but in this case, I'm cleaning the brush instead. My hand keeps clean. Once again, if I need to go clean up some area, just put in some water, there we go, pretty fast. And also later on I can use eraser to pick out something that need adjustment. When it is kind of a try it a little bit more, then I can really go inside and play around with it more. Okay, I'm gonna go go ahead and get some more metal. Once again, this is also an experiment. Let's see how it can react this time. If you need the charcoal to stay on to your page, on the surface nicer. You have to wait until the surface dry up a lot more. And then you can add a little bit of water, slightly a bit of water onto your brush. Enough to wet it, but not to make it run. See, just like that. Or in this case, I can take out even more. key is I think is not repeating the same area too many times see when I'm repeating the same area I take out some chalk but by applying the darker tone in the other area it stays so pretty much you have to have patience let it dry if you need to put more darker tone on top Okay, see, 
and I when I wet re-wet the area and that area has a little more water the tone actually can be wiped out So I, I'm going to wait for the area to dry up a little more. See, every time when I do the area with another stroke on top, I just take out some of the, um, the charcoal I laid down earlier. So it's good to put a second layer when it's completely dry or close to completely dry. Some of this area is already dry, so Let's see. All right. See, I have no problem adding on. And I can do subtract. Add and subtract. I can use a smaller brush to do more precise uh, kind of information on top. There's one thing you have to remember, using this, um, it's easier to clean up the area with, a, with an eraser when it's a lighter tone. That's what I found out last time. So anytime you have thicker tone, that means you have to use water to dissolve it, let it dry before you can erase once again. Well, that's only applied to a uh, canvas board. So we will find out more when um, in the next time um, when I use the watercolor paper to see, check it out. This medium, which is uh, not really well to use as a glazing medium, so that is something I would not suggest at this point. Maybe um, some medium can add on to it and make it more versatile. But when I'm testing out this medium right here, it is good to use as a solid form, a solid kind of a pigment. Because every time when you put more water on top, you have greater chance to kind of a take out the information that you laid down earlier. As you can see, every single time when I do something to it, subject can be rearranged um, with the with the rearrangement of uh, the value the tone things like that okay I'm going to use a smaller uh, small brush but not yet give up painting I would not say painting I would say put in the most darkest value.
just hung and just kind of went out. Well, some of the tones I like to be a little more even. I'm using my hand, I mean my finger, just go ahead and soften up some of the edges. It looks pretty cool. The effects look quite unique. Um, not just soft things up with a brush. To me, at this point, by softening things up with a brush is a little bit harder. Um, it's a little bit out of control. The reason why, because the brush has water. Once the surface get contact with the water, it start kind of a cleansing some of the area but by using my hand as you can see this day so uh, it's pretty much like making soft edges and and darken up the area at the same time so and I enjoy using my hand to draw anyway so I think this uh, this is a good way for me to utilize both the brush and my hand, which is something that I cannot do, uh, I would not do with watercolor paper and watercolor itself. And I can establish the tone nicely. Instead of waiting to dry, I'm just using my finger to push it to see what I can do with it. It feels funny that uh, when I'm working on charcoal, my hand is clean anyway. <laughs> Usually my hand has always become more of a part of the tool that goes with the charcoal. So in this case, I enjoyed the process to incorporate with my hand. Yeah, I think I'm, I have found something that is quite interesting to work with the brush and the hand. As you can see, when I, whenever I wet the area, the charcoal can be lit up really easily. So I'm just patching it in at this point. Okay, I'm gonna wait until that area and try it up a little bit more to do something else to it. This liquid charcoal also has a brownish tone to it, just like the uh, charcoal stick. They have the same consistency with the value. And of course, the charcoal itself will not get as dark as liquid charcoal. This part 
as I said, I'm going to wait to that area and dry it up a little bit more. And then go ahead and push some more uh, rendering, some more information in, inside that area. Let's see if I can pick out a highlight by using the tip of the brush. Wow, look at how bright that is. Drilling on the nose, nostril. Not tap, 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 tap. As much. Looks pretty fun so far. Much better than last time. testing and also the result is coming out more than I expected than the last try so which is a good thing I mean that uh, I'm slowly getting to know the medium and then the medium getting to know me <laughs> right See, every time that I add a little bit of water, I just start cleaning that area. I mean, it's really sensitive with the amount of water that contain on the brush. I would say on the canvas board, the refinement would not be as, as the shame, uh, same as the, uh, the refinement might appear on the paper. That's only, there's only one way to find out, right? Let's test it out next time. I believe I, if I have more time on uh, on this medium towards the canvas approach, I think it can be quite effective because right now I'm doing a uh, short time kind of, kind of a experiment and also demo at the same time. If I'm just concentrate and do this on the canvas itself. I might be able to pull up something unique. It's only a matter of time.
this is going to be an interesting effect when the brush load up with a little bit of water quickly dissolve the area it's a good thing and also it's a hard thing to do with at the same time but then again I think we have to get to know each other a little better I think that instead of complaining about all oh, dips and medium is doesn't work well on here on there but you know uh, it's better to find a way to utilize, to utilize the specialty of the uh, of the subject you can work with you or work against you at the same time so if you can really really control the medium that means you are going to have something interesting fun really fun to work with Or maybe I can use uh, uh, a stump or a Q-tip to work on top of the subject as well, perhaps a different tool you can also apply on top. But so far, with my hand, with my fingers involved with this drawing, I'm liking it so far. As you can see, those are spots that later on I need to kind of figure out what to do, how I can actually make it work for me. I just try to dab some charcoal onto the surface. tempted to use my hand to go in to see what I can do. I try to feel the texture. Hmm. The feeling is interesting actually. A little bit gooey, a little bit sticky when it's wet. Just like the first time when I use my finger to test the text the uh, the charcoal. Let me see if I can use a razor to to do some something. Cool. Yeah, you can actually help pick up a little bit. Hmm, interesting.
Okay, I have put in some work here, and then I would like to get something out of it, such as the lighter tone, some of the uh, detail area. I would like to see what can be done. I'm using a piece of paper and a, and a, and a wet brush. See how you can combine and create something interesting. I'm picking up some of the details right now. Quite bright. I don't want to be that bright. Otherwise, we will become a focal. Okay. So, I'm going to work on the, the strap a little. Yeah, I like that better than use piece of paper. Yeah, use my finger and cut about scrap it off. It's better than the paper. Give us some kind of interesting value not too bright but light enough for me to see something so yeah let this come for hand brush and liquid charcoal <laughs> interesting As I mentioned earlier, once you get used to the, uh, the medium, I think the medium can do some benefit to the creation instead of uh, the other uh, opposite direction. I like it so far. Just because I'm not familiar with the capability of this medium yet, total capability. I am discovering this uh, this medium a bit by bit. How it can actually use. It's a fun journey so far. In this case, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to bring the best out of the medium. I'm still I'm starting to get a hang of it. So it's quite interesting the way how it appear so far. You might not be able to feel what I feel on when I put my hand on the surface. It's kind of interesting. It has texture actually. Um usually when you do charcoal, you don't feel this kind of texture. And also because it is working on top of canvas too. The canvas will not accept the uh, will not absorb the charcoal like the paper would do. So all the charcoal that I put on top, actually, I, I can feel the charcoal. Quite interesting, right? You have to 
you pretty much you have to test it out yourself if you like what you see so far if you want to kind of a try to uh, figure things out like what I'm doing I'm testing <laughs> as, as much as uh, I'm going at the moment I'm still new at this I believe the potential still there's a lot of potential I haven't really discovered what this can this medium can do once again it may be may become one of my new medium to use for uh, more refined morph Okay, got some texture on the face, right there, when they're in wall, there's a lot of dirt, this is perfect. The charcoal on top, it does look like the face has mud on it, or some dirt and, and sweat and blood all come together. This medium also enhanced the, the character too. So that's what I've been. That's what I have been seeing. The texture right here. It is good for this type of uh, image. But if it's for a really young, soft skin, young lady. <laughs> I might not use this technique on this. I probably uh, will use maybe a piece of paper, thick paper, and try um, try for another approach instead. But today, this comes. I mean, this comes out nicely. Let me see if I can create this, the effect of smoke by using. This. I don't think that you can do it like this with the other medium. Talking up the other value so the smoke can come out easier. There we go. Really interesting. The more I rub into it, the more browns. Uh, the more brownish it gets. This really, I really have to pay attention to the amount, the amount of water on top of the surface, not just the brush itself, but also the amount of uh, water on top of the canvas. It's quite interesting.
Yeah, the is how you increase. Does make the cigarette look like it's lit up. All right, folks. Uh, this is the last bit of touch up I would do. Uh, pretty much, as you can see, that the progress is much better um, than the previous one. And the texture I can control is way better than previously. So I think somewhat I, I'm getting kind of a getting the hang of it and uh, you can see the result right so I might do more tests about the medium and to see how much I can actually how much of a different kind of technique or, or result I can get so this is about it and uh, I'm just continuing Put it a little bit more refined indication here and there. Um, as I said, I'm not a, a smoker. I don't promote people smoking cigarette. So in this case, I'm just working on this piece for the feeling of it. Okay, so I hope you like the. Uh, painting process and also the result with this one and if you like the video uh, please subscribe Hit, click like if you like the video don't forget to click like subscribe and share with your friends so I see you next time bye